What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Bomb. Boom! What's up? Episode 453. All right. In Get Stack 96, we have reintroduced the bent over row. Now, when you do bent over rows, especially, listen to me now, especially after you front squatted, after you've deadlifted to some type of one rep, you have to make sure that you're careful with your form. Now, what I like to do is when I do a bent over row, I like to stand up with the bar first, then hinge, lock it in, and then row it. Now, some guys, we were just talking about Coach Storms, he's really, he does a ton of bent over rows, will go from the bottom and just row it through. Boom. Some like to stand up with it, get it locked in. So now, I like to stand up with it and lock it in because I've had back and QL issues, right? The guys that really haven't had that back or can transition as their back gets stronger to go to more like you watch Tyler Galbraith, he'll be fucking pulling 405 off the ground and just fucking rowing the shit out of it. I think you got to know where you're at in the bent over row food chain, let's call it, right? Which is kind of funny. For me, it's like I've had some issues with that. So I'm gonna be a little bit more hesitant. I'll probably go a little bit on the lighter side, kind of tighten it here. Some of the bigger, stronger dogs be in this position. It's maybe not as compromised. So as you're doing bent over rows, just be kind of mindful of where you're at in the bent over row food chain. But I'm gonna keep them in the get stack plan. I think they're highly valuable. And I'm gonna to try to go from the guy that stands up and has to do it this way to the guy that just gets over and fucking hosses it through and has good stability. I'm gonna get there. You should get there too. Nodge Bomb episode 453, bent over row. Oh.